I wasn't really surprised, Mr. Juncker, but I'm still disgusted. I see how the biggest taxpayers often legally manage to avoid paying all the tax they ought to pay, often with the connivance of a, a, a government, an authority. This is a fundamental violation of the social contract in Europe, and even worse, it's a breakdown of confidence, the confidence and trust that our citizens should have in their institutions and the commitment of the people they elect to defend their interests. Independent workers, people who are unemployed, people receiving social security, but as LuxLeaks reminds us, at the top of the ladder, the biggest people who, uh, the biggest people that profit most from the system. But you're not alone, of course, to be in the spotlight. It's Mark Hutter, highly liberal, and uh, they're running a tax haven in the Netherlands, which is as bad as the one which you have the honour of running in Luxembourg. A large number of member states have actually hidden provisions away in their tax laws, provisions which make their countries into tax havens. As you've said, President Juncker, the crucial issue is harmonisation. It's high time that member states in the EU stop at their tax wars, a war where the only beneficiaries are big companies and highly wealthy people and the victims are our public finances and through our public finances the well-being of all our fellow citizens. This is the tax war we should put an end to by tax harmonization and you said you weren't going to intervene in the ongoing inquiry so I would say you should intervene. Give Mrs Vestey everything that she needs in order to broaden the inquiry out so we can put an end once and for all to this tax trickery which we're all the victims of. Thanks very much.